All right, welcome to Creator Hardware. And well, this is my new Proxmox V2. <laughs> so let me give you the backstory. My servers generally do work for me. They're purpose built for a function. I have an Unraid server for archive footage for both of my YouTube channels. I have a TrueNAS scale install that is for my editing NAS. So my original Proxmox had TrueNAS virtualized on it, core, not scale, and I used that as my editing NAS. Well, unfortunately, I wanted to do more with it, so I upgraded the CPU, which unfortunately broke my ethernet connection, even though I didn't change motherboards, it no longer found the network adapter. I fixed that temporarily, but every time you restarted the server, it lost it because I was still figuring out how to relearn the network adapter. But anyway, that's a different story. But it also bunged up my TrueNAS install. No longer found the operating system on one of my disks. So I said, screw it. So I rebuilt that server and it is my current TrueNAS scale server, bare metal. Went back to the i3, had some issues with that system on transfer speeds. That's now fixed, but that was another ordeal. I've got a video on that. But anyway, those servers are for work. This is for fun. <laughs> this server is for virtualized machines for me to play with stuff. It's not gonna have data on here that's important. It's just gonna be for me to play with virtual machines, stuff like that. Now, hardware wise, it's mostly used parts. So let's go over the parts real quick and we'll talk about some of the issues that reusing a Proxmox install will give you. Now the case is brand new. This is a Silverstone case. I've got another one of these. That's what the TrueNAS install is in. And I bought three Noctua fans and one 500 gig Samsung SSD. If I need to add more SSDs or hard drives or whatever, I can, there's space here. I just have to reroute some cables. Now the rest of it is all used. Now the parts were harvested out of an old gaming PC. So they're a little overkill for what this is, but it's what I got. I've got an NZXT 850 watt power supply. Way overkill for this, but again, I had it, it works. I should have no problems with power draw. <laughs> the motherboard is a Asus Maximus with a 9900K in it. 32 gigs of D-skill memory, again, former gaming PC, former editing machine. The cooler is off of my Linux build. I pulled that one down simply because too much of a pain in the butt setting it up, using it, playing with Linux. So we're gonna virtualize it. The SSD for the operating system is out of my original Proxmox install. Now, one of the interesting things about swapping components on Proxmox, you lose your license, still free, you can still use it, but the other thing, the problem that kept me from using it last time was the bond to the ethernet adapter broke. Even though I didn't change motherboards. I had to go in, I should have done a video on it because there's no video online. But you know, diagnosing things live is a pain in the butt. So I didn't, but anyway, fix that. I still have to remove my TrueNAS install that's still showing but it's up and running, it runs. Ethernet connection works fine now. It's all bonded correctly. So we're gonna put this in the server rack and we'll have some fun with it, virtualizing some stuff. So this is my new to me Proxmox server. You gotta redo some stuff in it, but then I can do some fun stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.